gets back to the photographer's role. They really care about the community that they're working in. The bottom line is heart. And the one thing that photojournalists have always had is heart. Most photographers are innately curious people. And as a photographer, you have an excuse for your curiosity. Try and understand what makes people tick. Sometimes a single image does it best. Sometimes a handful of pictures tell a story better. The series is called Carry Me, Ohio. It's a look at some of the communities in southeastern Ohio that really relied on extractive industry for a long time. Once those resources dried up, they didn't have many opportunities for jobs or anything. When you're working on long-term documentary work, you don't have any context really to be there other than I'm a photographer and you interest me. This image was taken in Gloucester, Ohio, which is one of the towns really hard hit in that area. There's one corner that everybody just hangs out on. Most of the kids don't really have anything to do or to expect out of life after graduating from high school if they get that far. It's definitely all about the people for me. Human interest stories, anything that allows me to, to get a little below the surface. That's a photo from the Goins family in Chansey, Ohio. They've been going through a lot. They were actually moving from one trailer to another. It had a lot of illness in the family. Certainly didn't know at that point the context of the story. But that photo is slightly symbolic. It was a transition point for the family, not from shadow into light necessarily, but from a very chaotic period in their lives into something that was a little more structured and sane. You hear a lot of photojournalists say they're trying to give a voice to the voiceless. Photography can serve a purpose and it does have meaning. Everybody deserves a voice. We're a window into the world. And there are a myriad of different ways of looking at photography and using photography to tell a story. But the photographic process is a creative process. And photography is a reflection of the photographer. I spent seven years working as a newspaper photographer with the second largest daily in Hungary, where I'm from. You come to the point when you would like to raise your own questions, to see things from your own perspective. So I decided to become a freelance photographer, free to go wherever I want. I'm traveling all around the world on a project that shows this unfolding water crisis that the world is facing. It's about water and the conflict that water generates. I try to understand the subject I'm photographing, but I really just go and experience it. I went to Australia to see the major problem with the drought. There are parts where there is no rain. This flood in Bihar, in India, was extreme. The aid did not reach these people. A photojournalist is a storyteller, but just telling a story is not enough. What I really like to do is to challenge the existing imagery and just create something different. The camera is the least important part. This is the camera I'm working with. There is nothing you can control. All you can do is point and shoot. As a photographer, I really feel this urge to go to places when access is difficult, when conditions are extreme where people need help. There are images that can summarize the pain and show how water destroys life. If I'm working for the right cause, it's appropriate to show how people feel even if the situation is pretty desperate. Photography helps people to stop and contemplate. That's one of the strengths of an image. 
I don't think there's anything that one ought not to photograph. What we want to do is record the reality and be as brave as we can be about giving people the reality. We need to give a picture of the world, because not every citizen can be everywhere looking. I photograph in Africa, Iraq, Afghanistan, Palestinian territories in Israel, Pakistan now. For me, the photojournalist's job is to be a, a witness, nothing else. It's not difficult to imagine this as 1,000 years ago. What I try to do is tell the story with only one photo. Every day is the same challenge. When you see that something is going to happen, you keep the good position and then you shoot. We are covering here mainly hard news. Crisis, conflict, war. People struggling to get food. You arrive at the place and then you start to think which photo can define the situation. The kind of crisis we are covering in this country is dramatic. These portraits I took around Pakistan woman affected by domestic violence. Saida was burned by her husband, and he decided to go to her house and to throw acid in her face, and this was the result. The message of this photo should be very simple, how she was and how she is now, but also how brave she is to pose for my camera. All of them were burned by their families with acid. It's important for people to see these photos, but I think it's another kind of war. We can be affected emotionally, but to be affected emotionally is not very good for this kind of job. It's our daily challenge as photojournalists to try to be ready for the next story. The power of photojournalism can affect social change. It has been proven in the past, and it continues to hold true today. We have a more immediate response to photojournalism. The power of photojournalism is being able to communicate with people on a different level. The overarching aim is to have effective photography, photography that works, that conveys a message. A photograph can give you an instant insight in other people's life. One image is worth more than 1,000 words. Photography is a universal language. The real heart of it is to make someone feel. That's one of the strengths of an image. It's still the closest proof of reality. It's all about moments, real moments. If you ask anyone about a particular event in history, what do they remember? They remember the still images.